The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope is the most anticipated event in space and astronomy in recent memory. After what seemed like an eternity to many in the scientific community, the new and powerful Space Telescope has arrived at its destination, where it will use its large lens to capture stunning images of the universe, including those of the much-lauded Big Bang. Let's find out more. The Hubble Space Telescope, which has taken stunning images of the universe and allowed scientists to draw many conclusions about the universe, is set to be replaced by a new telescope in the scientific circle. Known as the JWST, the James Webb Space Telescope, was launched late 2021 after a risky bet on the $10 billion telescope. Despite the difficulties, the JWST is now in place and ready to begin scientific and research activities after extensive configuration and fine-tuning. It will observe the universe in infrared light, which is light with longer wavelengths than what your eyes can see. Based on estimates of the amount of fuel remaining on board, the JWST is expected to last about two decades. NASA has not developed a way to refuel the JWST, so when the fuel runs out, the mission is over. The steady state theory of the origins of the universe in one such hypothesis. Sir James Jeans first came up with the idea in the 1920s, but it was reworked by Fred Hoyle Thomas, Gold, and Herman Bondi in 1948 to give it a boost. Although the universe appears to be expanding, theory attempts to explain this by maintaining that the universe is unchanging in practice and has no beginning or end. How did the steady state evolve? Observation and mathematical proofs led Isaac Newton to postulate that the universe beyond our solar system is an empty space that extends uniformly in all directions to immeasurable distances, which he he further explained through Newton's magnum opus in Newton's first clear example of an unchanging universe being argued in astronomy and caused apology. Early analysis showed that Einstein's theory created a universe that was unstable because of its expansion and contraction. Prior to this time, it was thought that it was static. Einstein also introduced a term into his general relativity field equations called the cosmological constant, which was what held the universe in a stable state. But when Edwin Hubble discovered the cosmological constant, he found that it was not stable at all. As an astronomer attempting to use distant galaxies to estimate the age of the universe, Hubble made an error and came up with an age of 1.8 billion years. This was far lower than the estimates of the ages of the Earth and solar system made by geologists, who came up with estimates of the ages of billions of years. The issue now became how to answer the question of how Earth could be younger than the rock in our solar system. The Big Bang Theory would explain this difference by saying that distant galaxies represent younger galaxies, whereas closer galaxies are older. But this steady state theory has no way to account for this difference, which is exactly the sort of difference that the theory was designed to account for. So the theory became increasingly thin as new astronomical evidence was discovered. Yes, this is a theory that claims to explain the origin of the universe, but it has a major flaw. There is no way to test or disprove the theory because black holes are only capable of swallowing things and never allowing anything to rise from the event horizon and exit. In plasma theory, electric currents that flow along plasma filaments can shape galaxies and power them like fluorescent bulbs, prompting the birth of planets, and this current flows into stars, powering them like fluorescent bulbs. Hansa Halvin proposed the electric universe theory in the 1930s, arguing that if plasma pervaded the universe, it could carry electric current capable of generating galactic magnetic fields. However, scientists have not been able to find evidence for the theory, which is not even a theoretical theory, because it does not meet the definition of a theory set by the National Academy of Sciences. He inferred that today's separating galaxies must have started out together in what he called the primeval atom by looking backward at data from Hubble and others, which Einstein's published field equations of general relativity allow for. Fred Hoyle, an English astronomer, was the first person to use the term Big Bang to describe Eometra's idea in 1949. At this time, Hoyle coined the phrase to describe 
describe an eternal universe that created matter to counteract the dilution caused by expanding matter. Even though Sir Fred Hoyle later denied inventing a defamatory name, the moniker stuck, much to the chagrin of some. But why is the Big Bang important and worth sending a multi-billion dollar telescope to deep space? The Big Bang Theory is the leading explanation for how the universe began. With its enormous mass and gravitational lensing, it is possible to see the galaxies hidden behind SMAX 0723, which means that distant objects' light is bent and magnified due to its gravitational influence. Light from distant galaxies has taken over 13 billion years to reach us through these red arc-like objects in the picture, as well as the Southern Ring or Eight Burst Nebula. Images from the JWST have captured. We can see how stars are born, but we can also see how they die. And this object is a huge sphere of gas and dust that has been lit up by the dying star in its center. When stars age the way they make energy and eject, their outer layers change. But when a star becomes very hot again, it energizes all that material it had previously spurned. The Stevens Quintet, which is 290 million light years away, is also included in the first batch of images. In the constellation of Pegasus, Stevens Quintet was first discovered as a compact galaxy group. Repeated close encounters have been occurring between four of the Quintet's five galaxies. When comparing the JWST and Hubble images, you might not see much of a difference. But astronomers will be able to see details that they would otherwise miss due to the JWST's infrared sensitivity. The Carina Nebula, which Hubble has previously pictured, is the first working photo from the JWST. It is one of the brightest nebulae in the sky, despite its distance of 7,600 light years. The interesting thing about nebulae is that they are like hatcheries. With the help of the JWST, we can now see more of the Carina Nebula, where stars are born. Scientists will use the JWST now that it is ready for use to look back at the Big Bang, which we cannot see directly. When cosmologists simulate 4,000 versions of the current universe on a massive supercomputer, they're like trying to guess a baby photo of our universe from the most recent picture, pressing back to reach the first instant after the Big Bang. The first generation of stars after the Big Bang produced the chemical elements of life today. So if we want to know where our atoms came from, and how little planet Earth came to be, capable of supporting life, we need to measure what happened at the beginning. Big Bang proponents argue that such criticisms are unwarranted because the Big Bang does not deal with the origin or evolution of the universe, and because the laws of physics break down as you get closer to the beginning of the universe. There is no reason to believe in the first law of thermodynamics. Another criticism is that if the Big Bang were true, the universe would have started from nothing. However, if you view the early universe as completely homogeneous and isotropic, the current universe shows signs of obeying the law of entropy over time. Hubble has seen light dating back 400 million years, but JWST has the ability to take us 250 million years after the Big Bang, which takes about 13.3 billion years to reach us. The gap does not make a difference. It's like the difference between seeing the first stars that ever turned on and arriving a little late after the funeral. This period in time, when the first starlight shone through the universe, is known as the cosmic dawn. With the JWST, humanity will be able to glimpse at it for the very first time beyond the barriers. We appreciate you viewing the video all the way through. We have another film that is likely to pick your attention, and we are confident that you are going to adore watching it. Simply watch the video by selecting it from the options that appear on your screen. See you next time!